people. So today we're doing a quick tutorial on how to fit the pre-charge resistors um, to your controller. It doesn't have to be an ASI controller. It could be any controller. Um, what these are, basically what we've noticed with the high ampage discharge batteries that's on the market these days, sometimes when you're connecting them to your controller, the rush of current going into your controller can damage your controller because the current is so high so basically what this is here this is a soft start um, so when you do connect your battery it slowly lets current into the capacitors so when you switch your breaker on um, it's not so much of a headache for the controller to handle so yeah basically today this is an inrush current um, pre-charge resistor we're going to do a t quick tutorial on how to fit this to your bike so yeah, let's go. Pull this back. The pre-charge resistors come like this. Um, we've put an arrow on top. So the arrow goes facing upwards behind your breaker like this. We've also put a bit more length on these. So you would have to cut it down to your, to, to your Pacific size. So let's do this now. We strip this down. So like this. Take that off, let's take this off. Each side, strip it down. Strip it down. So like you said, there's an arrow on top. Open this side up. One side in there. Like that now. Put it underneath. Twist it. The other side goes in here. Lock it down. So that's locked down now and we stick it double side is a bit tricky yep so we stick it here that's secured that's your pre-charge resistor fitted so now what we do with a pre-charge resistor when we connect the battery make sure your breaker is off connect your battery that would send current through the pre-charge resistor into the controller wait a couple seconds turn your breaker on put your key in off and away we go um so yeah hope that can help everyone